Today, we are talking about bike nights. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. Welcome to Motorcycle Den. And the topic today is bike nights. Last night, we went to our first bike night at a local Harley dealer and I, we have a whistle and it just will not go away I don't know what it is I lifted my helmet just a little bit my that's it well, your shield's open I know barely but it went away I don't hear it now I guess we haven't been motivated in the past to go but my cousin was singing. We have never heard him sing so in, in person. So we thought we'd go and support him and listen to him sing for a while. I, I believe it's the Hog Chapters that put them on, and I don't know if it's that way with every dealership. But I, at least they're involved in it, so I don't know if it's kind of a joint effort or just the hog chapter themselves to take care of all of it. They had a great turnout there. It was fun, honestly. Well, I, too, it was also vintage bike night. Well, that's true. They did have some older bikes there set up. They had it was like a bike show. And then that one that was in the front, the vintage one, like next to the vintage one. Yeah, because they had the uh, new Harley. Um, name of it I should have known electric glide but it looks like this what 69 I think that what he so. said I think something like that uh, it's a beautiful bike to see in person if you guys haven't got to see it and your dealer has it go, go check it out but then that girl sat on the one. Oh yeah there was this young girl sitting on it she was a teenager and uh somebody I don't know who had her up there but they wanted she, her picture she was probably I don't know 15 maybe and uh I bet she was 16 or 17. Uh, she might have been, I don't know. But, oh, when she's getting back off this thing, she's, the heel of her gym shoe like scraped all across the tank, top of the tank. I was, I was just cringing. I was like, oh man, she, oh, what is going on here? But anyways. Yeah, brand new bike. Back to the bike nights. Do you guys attend bike nights? Uh, our, we have a restaurant called Quaker Steak and Lou. And uh, there's a few of them around town, and they have bike nights through the summer. I know, I think the one has them on Thursday nights, and they draw a huge crowd. I've never been to one there. We've talked about going, and it's beautiful. This is uh, Ohio, Route 73, heading out of uh, Hillsboro. It's a beautiful road. A lot of people take this road. Uh, a lot of a lot of group rides and stuff will take it. It's great, great road for for our motorcycles. But back to bike nights. I, this was our first one, and like I said, we were there to support my cousin. But I'm glad we went. I enjoyed it. It was uh, it was pretty neat. What'd you think, Mrs. Den? I liked it. You know, a lot going on, see the different bikes. Um, Harley was open late. Yeah, I don't know if that was on purpose or just because so many people was there. I think they were closed, normally closed at 7, I think. Um, unless they went to summer hours yeah. or something. And oh. then we went in to look around. And we did shop and I bought nothing. But you bought something uh, I did. That's true. I bought... A uh, new pair of sunglasses. If you can see them, they are Harley Davidson brand tank sunglasses, and uh, they have a removable gasket on them, and that gasket seals. Well, I don't want to say seals, but goes up against your face, keeps the wind out, and these things fit me perfectly. Yeah, I love these things. They are very comfortable. I will say these have these have the PPZ lens in them, which is proprietary to Harley, and they're Wiley X glasses. Who makes them? They're clear, 
but when well, last night I see it seemed to be worse than today. Today it's not so bad, but like the tar strips almost seem wet. Uh, other than that, I mean, I can see things on the road. It's, they're designed for you to be able to pick out different road conditions. And they're, I, they're like a polarized, but they're supposed to eliminate the rainbow effect. I can see just a little bit of rainbow effect up here when my shield's down. And then like on a fairing, just on the curved edge, just ever so slightly. You, can't, you don't even notice it, really. They're very clear, they're comfortable, and they do seal out the wind. I was using a pair of Oakley's uh, jawbreakers, which they were a lot bigger. They weren't very stylish, but they did cover a big area to keep some of the wind out of your eyes. Um, these, honestly, with the foam and the way that they fit my face, they seal out the wind a lot better, but they're not quite as clear as Oakley. I had the road, which is supposed to help you pick out perfections in the road, different road debris, and they work great. But uh, coatings were starting to come off on mine. I had a spot where the coating was off right my line of sight, and I was just looking for a different pair. I'm happy with them. I like them. And you can get prescriptions in these, and they offer quite a quite a bit of options. But I will say, it's pricey, depending on what you get. Some of it's not too bad, but if you get the upper end of, of things, it's very pricey. But eh, down the road, I may it may be necessary for me to do something like that. There is a. Uh, Oh, Serpent Mountain. Oh, Serpent Mountain. Yeah, right there. And, uh, it's Indian Barrel. It's okay. Mountain. Yeah, it's, it's decent. They've got like... It's kind of like Go Once. They got like a... Yeah. They got... Well, you know. Yeah, well, I would definitely want like travel to Ohio to just to see it. But if you're ever in the area, on Route 73 south of Hillsboro, Serpent Mountain. Uh, cool little place to stop. But I will say they do require a parking pass that they charge you for I think I don't know it's like 10 bucks or it's expensive I mean and honestly it's probably not worth the price we go every what 10 15 years yeah <laughs> when we forget about it then we'll go because we forgot about what we seen so we'll go back or we, we brought our boys or we you know when they were little what'd or, you say or if we forgot how much we paid the last time to be yeah there. yeah like, oh. And then he's like, we're never paying that again. <laughs> then you wait 10, 15 years, and he'll pay it again. If you're going to see everything there is to see there, and then, you know, they have a nature, or a, a visit, like a, I don't want to call it a visitor center, but like a gift shop, and kind of like a visitor center, there's things you can look at in there, talks about the history of it, this and that. Uh, if, you, if you do everything, it's probably worth 10 bucks for, I think it's a parking Ten bucks a car or something maybe, but just to stop there, eh, it's a little, a little steep for me. I'm cheap. What can I say? Well, I tell you, afford this bike and uh, yeah. all the stuff you want to do with it. So. Yeah. Because if I wasn't cheap, there's no way I could afford this. It's cheap on certain items. Yeah. So. C certain things, not not all. Yeah. All I things motorcycle is expensive so yeah. he's willing to pay that he won't spend did. yeah he does he won't spend eighty dollars on a pair of gym shoes but he'll drop 250 on a pair of motorcycle boots and not blink an eye <laughs> you know and that is the truth that is the truth yeah so guys let us know about your bike nights if you go uh, if you like going, do you eat there? Do you just go for the music, or do you just go... I mean, some of them may not have music. I don't know. We thank you guys for watching, and we'll talk to you guys later. See ya.